Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Audi Wesley Chapel, and guess what? We have a car that you've been waiting for for a very long time, but I promise you it's going to be worth the wait. This is a 2021 Audi S5 Sportback. But before we dive into this Darth Vader looking of a sport luxury performance today, and let's talk about what's going on here. Audi, that iconic German brand, can trace its roots so many decades into the past when it comes to performance when it comes to luxury and definitely some really sharp style. Now this S5 is gunning for two cars in particular, the Mercedes AMG C43 and the BMW M340i. Now one thing that those two cars don't have is this you could get in the one that we have, a sportback version. So that's really going to magnify the amount of versatility that this vehicle has. Plus you're going to get that Quattro, that coveted Audi Quattro system that all began on the world rally stages many, many years ago. Plus, you're going to get all that rich racing history poured into a very, very sexy shape. So let's go ahead. Let's find out, is this the sport sedan, that luxury performance sports sedan to get over the AMG C43 or a BMW M340i? And is it really the ultimate one out of the bunch? Let's find out. Right off the bat, like I said, it looks like Darth Vader and all new for 2021 is some refresh. There's some refresh on the outside and also on the interior. We start with the headlight housing, gloss black on the interior. I do like the silver. Now, if this vehicle was white, I don't know if I'd like the silver trim as much on the inside of the headlight housing, but with our particular black one looking like Darth Vader, it looks very sinister. You have your LED daytime running lamp headlights and turn signals all wrapped into one. Now, as you work your way down, this is that refresh area. What I do like is you have a fully functional side air curtain. What I am gonna zonk, this is our opening for the venting down here. Not really digging that. They could have opened this up a little bit more or used a different material, so I am gonna zonk that. One thing I'm not gonna zonk is I love the way the front fascia extends out very nicely. They didn't have to stick on any extra bodywork look super aggressive but also clean at the same time we work our way across that wide open grill that is synonymous with audi there's other brands that have been copying it but there's nothing like that audi badge and that audi grill so you have your auto union badge this signifies the four german auto manufacturers that almost went under during the world depression they all came together to form auto union and now it is that wonderful audi badge we have our s5 s being that extra performance. Because remember, you have A, S, and you could even go RS5, which I promise you, we, we will be bringing to you here from Audi of Wesley Chapel on Rady's Rides. But really just love how you have functionality up top, down below, and even the way they work this lower front splitter. Like I said, the way it's all integrated together, it's clean but aggressive all at the same time. Now, when we get up onto the hood, I love this nice, bulge that rises up everybody wants a bulge you get it on your s5 here and it stays nice and high all the way towards the windshield other than that you're going to have two nice peaked up fenders that go right into the a pillars and that's what like i was telling you clean but aggressive all at the same time and audi does a great job in their styling to separate them from the rest of the other german luxury performance brands now when we come Around the bend, we're looking at wheel and tire setup. What do we have? We have some new wheels, and I'm really digging them. 20 inches, you have machine aluminum, that gloss black finish. I'm really liking the direction they went with the wheel. You can see the six piston Brembo calipers gonna clamp down on that fully ventilated rotor. The S branding there to let you know that, hey, you got something a little bit more special than going the A5 Sportback route. 265 on the width. 30 series sidewall and remember you're going to stick to the ground like you were chewing a bunch of hubba bubba because you got that quattro all-wheel drive system and we have adaptive dampers all four corners to give you a perfect ride whether you want to handle or whether you want some comfort it's nice to be able to choose go into the fenders the way that audi does their styling by bringing the hood right down onto that fender super clean tasteful badging here i'm not going to zonk it because that is so small there's not even a, a, a zonk small enough to fit that fake vent here, but I do like the S5 badge. To be honest with you, if they just would have went gloss black, I think it would have looked a lot cleaner, but 
Other than that, the way they brought it into the door, I think it really breaks up what could be a boring fender and door area. Now you're gonna get gloss black on the mirror caps, even if yours is not black like ours. If yours was white, blue, purple, gray, whatever color you go with, you're gonna have the gloss black mirror caps because you got an S5. Gloss black around the top and bottom of the window treatment on the side doors. I do like that lower side sill extension just enough to make things interesting so that you have that great look. And because it's a sport back, I actually like the sport back more than the standard sedan. Really has a nice fast slope back kind of design to that roof line. Good size on the rear quarter window. You're gonna have the same exact width tires out back as you do out front because we have that all wheel drive. And then as we get to the rear, I'm really digging the nice kick up hatch spoiler right here. Enough, just enough lip, not too much. And it's gonna give you downforce. And then they do a great job, just like on the headlights, they do a great job on those LED taillights. Prominent S5 badge, the Audi badge, we drop down, yes quad tip exhaust, fully functional. I am gonna zonk this little decorative area that, that they did. I Just keep it smooth. Let the, let the exhaust do the speaking. Like literally, let them do the speaking for the car. And then you do have a simulated style rear diffuser that looks really clean. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our S5. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hydraulic hood struts. One thing I wanna point out is you do have bracing from the shock top mount to the firewall to help stiffen up the front end of the car. Engine cover is tasteful, so I'm not gonna zonk it, but underneath that engine cover is a three liter V6 turbocharged engine, 349 horsepower, 309 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds, quarter mile goes by at 12.8, top speed is 155 miles an hour, and that is governed at 155 miles an hour. The S5 weighs in around 4,050 pounds. MPGs, 20 in the city, 27 on the highway. And I think that's what makes this vehicle so great is that, you know what? If A5 isn't enough, you could go the S5 route, or if you want a little bit more, there is the RS5. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up this S5 and hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're sitting in this 2021 Audi S5 Sportback. I know you're saying to yourself, man, oh man, Joe, you found it. I'm falling more and more in love. I want to buy one. I want one in my garage. How much is it? MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, is right around $62,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, it's a little bit of, of a mixture of different materials, just a little bit of gloss black, that carbon fiber trim is looking great. The brushed aluminum silver, very tasteful, just enough. And then of course you're gonna get leather on the armrest, the contrast stitching, small though on the pocket. Maybe two hot dogs from 7-Eleven and a bottle of Hawaiian punch. Other than that, that's all you're gonna be able to squeeze in there. Now when you get to the dash, soft touch material, the carbon fiber looks very stylish, the Quattro badge, this, I have mixed reviews about. First of all, I like the way it's a 10.2 inch screen. Nobody's gonna complain about 10 inches. What I am complaining about is I don't like the way it's mounted to the dash. It's almost like they took double-sided Audi Quattro tape and stuck it to the dash. But it is easy to use. You do have navigation, new for 2021, wireless Apple CarPlay. You hit the home button, very smooth. We could go into vehicle go into Audi Drive Select. You could go into your different modes. Of course, we're gonna be staying dynamic. That puts us in race mode. You can see the little bit of racetrack there with the lights on. I'm gonna throw it into reverse. Super clear. It's like you're watching backup camera on your LED TV at home on your wall and 360, which is great. If you're wondering why is there a dead zone, that's because the door's open. There's no dead zone, we're okay. Everything's gonna be all right. It's just the door's open. But as we drop down, look what we have. Heated seats and ventilated seats. Thank you, Audi. You do have dual climate, and I love the click sound. It, it feels like you're opening up a Wells Fargo safe from 1922 
and you're about to become a millionaire or maybe even a billionaire, who knows? But the great news is great knobs on the AC. You do have your toggle switches, which are great. USB, uh, USB, I almost said C, but it's not a C. 12 volt, you do have a little tray down here, maybe two Slim Jims, those short, like fun size ones, start stop button, two cup holders, a little bit too much gloss black for my liking, and I wish that there was a lid. But you do have a great breath mint tray for when you're, uh, you know, picking up your dates and uh, eating Funyuns, and you don't want to give them Funyun breath. But there's your Audi S branding on the key fob. You turn it around, nice and simple, tasteful. I'll put it back here. This is going to control that eight-speed automatic. I even like the way they got an S logo here, just in case you forgot that you got an S5. The stitching is great. T toothpick holder so you can pick out those Funyuns out of your teeth. Not the softest armrest, but it does feel really good. And then guess what? You open it up, wireless charging. You got a pencil and pen holder for when you're going to transcribe some notes down. And then you have a USB-C in there so you can get your fast charging there. And maybe you could put a couple peanut M&Ms in there just for the hell of it. Seats, love them. I do wish they were one piece backs, but you do have a nice size headrest. The stitch work perforated and everything is just exquisite full power assist of course for the passenger and the driver and you have that good size sunroof there which makes life a little bit brighter for you especially on those cloudy days but why don't you come on over here because there's no clouds on the business end with this audi steering wheel come on over all right guys business time on the driver's side of things you do have that very nice aluminum sill badging with the s logo down there and then when it comes to a foot box, Audi does a great job. You got a massive dead pedal for bracing yourself in that hard cornering, brake pedal and throttle, looking great, all aluminum. Seat controls, easy to get to. Of course, you're gonna have some of that lower lumbar that feels oh so good. When it comes to room, six feet tall, even with, I'm six feet tall, Not there's not six feet of space in here. I'm six feet tall, but being six feet tall, I got plenty of headroom, even with the sunroof, which is great. Steering wheel, it's not a flat bottom, but I think we'll all get over that. I do like the aluminum finish here, the S logo, tasteful on the Audi badge. And if you notice, that's the grill shape right there. Kind of cool that they did that. Super slim on the spokes, nice stitching. The zonk that bothers me more than it being a flat bottom are these small paddles. Audi needs to find a new supplier of paddles. They're small, they're plastic. They just don't feel good, but boy, oh boy, what does feel good is that 12 inch virtual cockpit you could put your navigation there you could put all your info watch this you hit the button bam tachometer we're in dynamic mode we're ready to rock and roll plus it still shows navigation and then when you want navigation back hello there it is the best in the business and that's one of the many reasons why i really love the interiors on these audis is because of that virtual cockpit but why don't we go ahead let's check out the back seat and see does that sport back roof limit the headroom for your passengers back there all right guys we're in the back seat of the audi s5 the great news is with that sexy sport back roof design you're still getting some really great headroom back here i don't feel cramped and what they did was is they carved out the headliner sort of like carving out a pumpkin on halloween carved that out don't have to worry about the seeds but you got plenty of headroom backs of the seats you got that plastic material, so I am gonna zonk that, and the cargo net. I, I just think that's like almost like a Euro German thing, but uh, not really digging it. I'd rather have a nice solid pocket, so I am gonna zonk that. But you do have two USBs, which they tell you are for charging only. So do not stick your tongue in any of these openings. You do have rear AC with simple controls and a 12 volt. And when it comes to leg room, feels really good. I mean, I'm ready to rock and roll back here. And then you could open and drop this guy down. Watch this. You're gonna have your two cup holders. Look at that. Close them back up. And then felt lining. So if you wanna put your M&Ms back here and you've always been bothered about rubbing the, the color off your M&Ms with the felt lining, that won't happen. Or you could put your iPhone 46 gold edition and it won't get scratched. And then you put it down, you're good to go. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and check out that cargo area and then we're taking this S5 for a spin. All right, guys, one of the things that I love about this S5 is that it's a sport back. So what you do is you hit the button and look at how nicely the whole rear opens like a hatchback, but they, it's a cooler name, it's a sport back. Lots of usable space. 
very low loading floor, which is great. Of course, those seats will be able to fold down, but this is where the S5 is really a winner. And you're looking at 22 cubic feet of space when you're comparing this to those other models that I told you, the AMG C43 and that BMW M340i. They don't have this much cargo space to make it so versatile. But why don't we go ahead, if you're ready, I'm definitely ready, let's take this S5 for a little spin. All right, guys, we're in the Audi S5. Right away, Audi does a great job in their interiors. The only thing, and it's a, it's a pretty big thing, I mean, it's a 10 inch thing, is the infotainment system. It's easy to get to, the colors are great, the fonts, it's intuitive. My only gripe, and it's a big one, is that it's just stuck to the dash. I wish they could have just left virtual cockpit and leave it at that. I don't need this other stu stuff on the screen. I do like how the AC controls are not a screen set up in here. It's your standard AC controls. Everything else feels good. The seats are great, the supportive, without being too over bolstered or too squishy. Visibility out the sport back, even with the headrest, it's really great. Side mirrors are attractive and also very functional. And I'm telling you, nobody does a virtual cockpit like Audi does. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it in automatic mode. We're gonna see how the transmission and this S5 performs from a slow roll on throttle. Here we go. Nice. Feels good. Brakes feel great. Let's see how we go into this roundabout. Wow, look at that. We power right out of it. On the brakes. Super smooth. The steering is great. Chassis is very balanced. The back end came around just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And that's what I love about how Audi does their engineering. They take all of that great work that they have developed over the years on racetracks around the world and have brought it. You don't have to get an R8. You can, and that's a great way to go, but you can go many of their other offerings and still get that great performance and it feels good. You drive it every day, you have the sport bag versatility and you have some amazing performance with that Quattro all-wheel drive system that really makes life extra, extra special. All right, guys, I have it in manual shift mode. I'm gonna use those small plastic paddles. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm in second gear on throttle. Nice shifts. Down shifts are great. Super smooth. Back on throttle. Nice. I'm telling you, this turbocharged engine really produces a lot of great power. And you're not, even though it's, a, it's not a twin turbo, you're not waiting for the boost, which is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys, one more time. Here we go. Second gear on throttle. Yeah. balanced super composed especially under braking the downshifts gonna go all the way around here nice the all-wheel drive look at that I mean it's crazy how this car performs and we're not talking about 500 horsepower. We're talking about, I think, a sweet spot of horsepower, torque, balanced chassis, smooth shifting transmission. Really, really a fun car. And I'm definitely telling you, this has been worth the wait to bring you this S5. I'm so glad we were able to track it down. Next, though, is gonna be that RS5. But we're gonna go ahead, get back to Audi Wesley Chapel and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second.